and fellow hitmakers Ahara is collapsing under the heavy load of debts she is carrying on her shoulders. Sunday World can exclusively reveal that Sahara failed to oppose an application brought by Ned Bank last year to repossess her almost R2 meters gated property in the Ritzy suburb of Little Falls, west of Jobbik. We can also reveal that Standard Bank wants to repossess Sahara's Ranger Rover Evoke after she allegedly failed to keep up with her monthly installments. These two cases come in the wake of a week of turmoil for the star who came out to allege that her two former managers, TK and Scissor and Scoolia S records, owe her millions of rands, after underpaying her for her record sales and performances, a claim the record label has denied. She claimed she was gearing up to sue TS records as she did not want to be like other musicians who die as paupers. Nedbank applied for a default judgment against the Lollywood singer in the Jobbik High Court last month. Lee Bokow of Lowndes Flamini attorneys, who represent Nedbank, declined to comment. The star's woes were compounded by Daryl Ninjil bin Hayes of Stupor and Berman Incorporated, representing Standard Bank, who we asked if the multi-award-winning artist had filed papers to oppose its application to repossess her car. Why do you ask me? You should be asking her that question. I have got no comment to make, Jilden Hayes said. Zahara, real name Bulal Wankutu Kana, referred questions to her lawyer, but declined to furnish their name or contact details. According to papers Sunday World has seen, Zahara received a 1.9 meters mortgage bond from Nedbank to purchase her Little Falls house in 2012. Documents show that she also obtained a 475 mortgage loan from the same bank, but only one property reflects on her credit profile. The guitar strumming artist was supposed to pay just under R18 in monthly installment, but allegedly failed to do so. The last payment the applicant received from the respondent Sahara was on June 30, 2017, and the total outstanding amount on the account in respect of which the executionist sought is R1, 731.684.62. Read the papers. The singer, who amassed millions of rand in paid gigs and radio and TV royalties when she was at the zenith of her career as her album Lolly was sold more than 500. Zero, 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 units, allegedly failed to pay back the loan. In terms of the mortgage bond the applicant Ned Bank is entitled to a payment of the full outstanding balance together with interest from the respondent Sahara in terms of the agreement and or the mortgaged sick bond at a rate of 10. 50% which indebtedness is currently owing, due and payable. The respondent is in breach of the agreement and or mortgage bond, and has been in such breach for quite some time. Quote, further read the papers. According to Standard Bank papers, also seen by Sunday World, pertaining to her flashy wheels the financial institution granted Sahara R438, 197 loan in January last year, to purchase a 2014 evokes of. The term of the agreement was 72 months. The total cost of the agreement including interest, costs and charges would be the amount of R631,932.48 which would be repaid to the plaintiff standard bank by the defendant Zahara by way of an initial deposit of R38,000 and the balance by way of 71 payments of R8,776.84 each at one monthly intervals beginning on 1 March the 2018 and one final payment of R8,776.84 payable on 1 February 2024. Although Zahara paid the deposit, she allegedly failed to keep up with the monthly installments of the luxury vehicle, and was up 33,725.41 in arrears in February this year, when the bank wrote a letter of default and a notice. Notwithstanding the default notice, the defendant has failed and or refused and or neglected to remedy her breach of the agreement. The bank is asking the court to cancel the contract, and to also take back the 2014 Evoke 2. 2 from the Muso. Respondent is in breach of the agreement and slash or mortgage bond, and has been for quite some time, 